Hi, I'm Jim Broad with Cyber Recon. Since the revision for edition of NIST Special Publication 800-53, there's been some confusion on how classes relate to families within the catalog. This short video hopes to explain these changes. Classes were used by NIST to organize the families of controls that were published in their special publication 800-53 through revision 3. Management controls were those security controls for an information system that focus on the management of risk and the management of the information system security, such as safeguards or countermeasures. Operational controls are the security controls for an information system that are primarily implemented and executed by people, as opposed to systems. Technical controls are the security controls for an information system that are primarily implemented and executed by the information system through mechanisms contained in the hardware, software, or firmware components of the system. NIST began to realize that Classifying these families by these broad categories often led to class overlap. For example, AC or access control is a technical class family, but some of the controls within the technical class or are operational or managerial. For example, AC1 talks primarily about policy and procedure, but is not a technical type control. By revision 4 of NIST Special Publication 853, officials realized that segmenting families into classes was not as effective as they once thought it was. In this excerpt, we see that NIST has determined that it would be more effective to remove the class designations because many security controls within the security control families in Appendix F have various combinations of management, operational, and technical properties, the specific class designations have been removed from the security control families. Organizations may still find it useful to apply such designations to individual security controls and control enhancements, or to individual sections within a particular control or enhancement. Organizations might find it beneficial to employ class designations as a way to group or refer to security controls. The class designations may also help organizations with the process of allocating security controls and control enhancements to one, responsible parties or information systems, such as common or hybrid controls, two, specific roles, and or three, specific components of a system. For example, Organizations may determine that the responsibility for system-specific controls they have placed in the management class belong to the information system owner. Controls placed in the operational class belong to the information system security officer. And controls placed in the technical class belong to one or more of the system administrators. This example is provided to illustrate the potential usefulness of designating classes for controls and or control enhancement is not meant to suggest or require an additional task for organizations. So with this change to the control catalog, it's up to you as a security professional to determine if you want to use classes, if you want to use them as the examples in the NIST SP853, uh, describe or to come up with your own structure for the classes. If we look at the same AC1 control from Special Publication 800-53 Revision 4, we'll note that the class designation has been removed from the family of access control. This giving the system owners and personnel at the organization more flexibility in determining how the classes will be applied to controls and even control enhancements.
Cyber Econ LLC is a Virginia-based veteran-owned business that provides information assurance, information security, risk management, and training services to organizations in government and commercial environments. For more information on the Risk Management Framework, or RMF, refer to Risk Management Framework, a lab-based approach to securing information systems.